What's up, y'all, and welcome back. It's Cake and it's Randy and Ron Joe. Thank you guys for being part of part two of my final review for his uh, fastest fade. Um, I'm about to, so I'm about to look at it and from my point of view on how I feel about the haircut, a couple things that you guys do need to learn or understand that within a 15 minute uh, time zone, like you have to, as a judge, you have to give them the benefit of the doubt that there are going to be mistakes. And they, uh, but Mr. First place over here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I'm I mean, saying he got the belt and everything. He's he's done this before. And make sure to also follow Ranjo's um, YouTube channel. Three A's. It will be down below right there. So make sure that you guys tune in. I hope this is an informative video for you all. And we are going to go ahead and play this video right now. So first, well, as it's paused right now, and I, I am actually looking at the TV right here. It's a bigger screen. Um, I can see that it's dark and it's clean. That's the first thing that I'm looking at. As a barber or as a, um, as a judge, we look at a few things. We look at cleanliness. We look at, and that's Miko right there. Miko. <laughs> Shout out to Miko. Kiko. <laughs> Kiko. My bad, Kiko. That's Kiko. Um, so for, for the most part, at Barber Battles, we look at cleanliness. We look at fade, fades. We look at time. And we also look at overall product. So the overall product is pretty much on how they look and how they, how they come out of the seat. Um, a, a, hint, uh, a little tip for you guys is, Make sure your client's not ugly. Ooh. No homo pause. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to be kind of good looking, man. You know what I mean? Um, but here we go. I'm going to go ahead and play this. And check it out. So I, right there, I'm going to stop. If you see this little area on the corner of his, uh, of his hairline, that dark spot that's right there. Oh. Make sure to point that out. Oh. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to critique it too much. Like right now, my first impression, at looking at it, I'm looking that it's a good blend from the side, right? But I do see that little spot that's going to catch my eye. Depending on how the field is, if there's barbers out there that are more talented, I'm going to look at everything. Me, I don't care. I've known Ranjo for a long time. I don't care if I know you at all. I'm that kind of judge that's not... That's how it should be. That's how it should be. <laughs> like, I don't care... Who's cutting the hair? I just want to look at the haircut. That's why they hire me to do um, barber battles and stuff. So going back to the haircut, from the side of you, I'm looking at that and, I, and I'm seeing that, that, that dark corner. That's the first thing I'm seeing. I'm also seeing a dark spot that's right here in this area right there that I might have to look at a side of you. And you're able to like circle that part yeah, of what I'm yeah. talking about. Okay. And so I'm going to look at a side of you on it because I want to see if he if it's blended or maybe that's the way that the client's hair is um, so again from the side view it looks clean I'm looking at the bottom line right here this is this part right here is obviously a vein right here that that <laughs> I, I, I think it's a vein we'll see as the clip keeps going on but if it's not a vein and that's just a dark spot I'm gonna tack him on some points so for the most part being a judge it's by it's a point system so usually it's zero to ten if your haircut like for every single category again um, so let's go proceed with the haircut and as I'm looking I'm looking for irritation of the skin I'm looking for if his hair is um, I'm looking for if his uh, skin is irritated from the clippers or if I'm looking for blood spots if you have blood on your client I am not going like you're not gonna win it. Period. I did that in my in my fast fade. You done that before? Oh, I had a little nick on my boy right there. Did you win? Like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> so there it is. That's that's the point right there. Like a judge is gonna look at that, and a judge is gonna look at the lineup. A judge is gonna look at uh, if it, if it, if they're razor. A judge is gonna look at literally the overall look on if it's clean. If they had time to do it, you know what I mean? Like all of that. So. So far, so good. Going through it, I see a little bit of dots right here, but I'm thinking that's just skin irritation. I'm a barber. I'm not really caring about that part. I'm looking more at the fade right now. The back, 
The back left section is looking proper. I and me as a barber, I don't know or I know right now that it's at, at a number four, but I don't know what length he took it down to. But it's appealing to my eyes that it's darker on the top, that it that it's gradually blending down. It's it's a stretch fade. You know what I mean? So me, so a, a little tip for you guys again is that judges are going to critique a barber's haircut depending on how they cut. Like myself, this is my style of haircut. This is how I would cut a hair. So I'm obviously going to give it a higher rating because it's, uh, that's my style of haircut, right? So, so far so good. I see the occipital lobe and I am going to that dark spot that's right here that's above his occipital. I see that. That that part I'm 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 going to I'm going to I'm going to look at that and I'm going to probably call a judge another judge over and I'm going to say, "Hey, check that out. Do, do you see that or am I tripping because um sometimes our eyes can be can play tricks on us and then also um depending on the lighting where wherever we're judging it, it it's it's really hard to judge. Um, but I, I do see that part and I'm looking at the dots the dots meaning the whole all the this whole area right here We look at the dots and we look at the blend and we look at where it's uh, the and the the profile shaver To the to the actual bottom of the blend so I look when I'm looking at a haircut I'm looking at different sections and I'm looking at the uh, what word am I looking for? Um, sections the shading oh. the, No, not the shading Whatever, I'll figure that out and I'll put it down below. Um, all right, so we're gonna proceed on with this. So far, so good. I don't see anything. Again, on the same side, right, right behind his ear, there's a little bit of irritation right there. And I'm not gonna, I'm not, I'm not looking at that part. I just want to know if it's if it's bleeding or not. Um, let's keep going and boom. So right here, I'm, I'm, I got a good. Oh, I need to go back just a second. Give me one second. Right there. All right. So I'm gonna look at this at this view right here. And to 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 everybody, this is a really good haircut. But if I'm looking at this side, I'm looking right here in this area right here because that is a part that you need to pay attention to is the callus in the back. Calic. Calic. Yeah, the calic in the back. <laughs> calic. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. <laughs> All right, so um, so I'm looking at that part. I'm seeing if they took care of that. Obviously, Roger took took care of that. And if it was a 16 minute fast fade, he would have for sure knocked that out because he cuts super fast and super clean. Um, at the end of it all, when I'm look when I'm looking at a battle and I'm looking at a fast fade, I am thinking in my head like, would this client pay 30, 40, 50 dollars for this fade? In 15 minutes, or not in 15 minutes, but at, at the end, you know what I mean. Like I'm looking to see if if uh, if it's a, if it's worth a thirty dollar, forty dollar fade. All right, let's see more clips of it. Now, I'm looking, and I don't see anything wrong with it so far. Boom. So he's gonna step back. I'm looking at it, and then you can see that he has light spots right here but that's because that's the client's hair but if i was there in person i would look at it and i would see like oh damn like it's um that, that that's just that's just the way that his hair is growing out so let's just keep it rolling because i'm talking too much uh, actually let me back up a little bit my bad because i wanted to point this out a little further back so when you're looking right here as I pointed out on the left side of this client, you can see that the corner right here is darker than the corner over here. This the the right side of this client is faded really well. <laughs> the left side right here, can you see it? I see it. You see it? So I'm actually like judging it right now. I know. I've never you know? heard this before. <laughs> never. Never. So we're we're going off a of whim. But as you could see, that part is pretty sharp. It looks like they're, they're like that would need some help. So he's gonna zoom in. Some help, though. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> and I see right here. See, with, with given fifteen minutes, uh, all these little small hairs that like 
as a judge, I'm going to look at it, right? I'm going to look at it. I'm going to say, like, ah, oh, damn, he kind of missed these hairs. It would have been nice if he yeah, took care of those hairs, right? That's crazy that you saw that. I didn't see that the multiple times I've viewed this, <laughs> this video, for real. I, I can see that because I'm looking for mistakes. Uh, the, 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 judge. the, uh, the judges are looking for that stuff. So we're going to let it roll out. And right there, so now that I'm looking at it, it does look like it's a, it's a vein, but it also looks like there's a dark spot. So that part could have used some help. But again, I can't stress this to you guys enough that they're only given 15 minutes. Sometimes there's a 10 minute fast fade, right? They, they do have a 10 minute fast fade. I'm not sure. Sometimes they do it where whoever finishes first gets the points or yep. something, something like that. So. so some barber battles, they do, like if you finish first, you get higher points. Right. Um, I've done a, a bunch of battles that's like that. So I'm looking at, so I'm back to the haircut. I look at the dots. I'm counting the dots and I'm seeing how how well blended it is or not. I'm also looking at cleanliness of the final product. So you forgot to clean out his ear, his ear hairs. Yeah. So he has he has ear hairs. So that's what the so with 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 Ranjo, the last minute that he has when he's all cleaning up, like dude, me as uh, as the judge, I'm gonna look to see if he cleaned off his neck hairs, if he cleaned off like his ears. If he even, like, I pay attention to this stuff. If he even um, hit him with the aftershave after and with the little sheen, like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, I kind of like looking at that bedazzled. Yeah, the full presentation. Yeah, full sure. presentation. I, I look for that stuff. So, going back, and this is actually a better view, and this is a really good haircut. I, I wouldn't doubt if, if, if Rangel used this haircut for a barber battle, I would give him... A solid ass nine. That's what I'm talking about, baby. But that's cool. <laughs> I would give him a solid nine, but de again, depending on on um, how other barbers that are judges, they they will give him a ten. There, I don't see anything being less than a nine for this specific haircut. So again, I'm just gonna go close. A little skin irritation right there with the redness yeah. in that area, but again, I'm not tripping because it's not blood. I see no blood on this haircut at all. So, so far, so good. Yeah. I mean, the, the more that, honestly, the more that I look at it, the more that I'm going to probably give him a 10. Not even just because I know him, but just because, like, I put everything into consideration. I, I, I put the time, and I put the presentation, and I put the overall look, everything. So... Right there, so far so good. Me, for my eyes, what I for the comfort of my eyes, I would like to see a darker edge up right here on this side. Uh, that's just my personal preference. I'm not saying that the fade's not clean. It's just I feel like, you like if if that sideline popped out, right, right. it would like pop. You know what I mean? That's what and you did. yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like I, that, that for me, that's what I would like to see. So I never used that by the way ever. I've never what? used that the tss, tss, in my life <laughs> for the for the uh, for the, just in general. general. Oh never, really? I've never touched it. I think I I tried it once as a joke, but I've never. <laughs> so I'm looking at it right here. This front area right here, right? Darker, huh? It it it's darker, and if you again, if he had more time, I know sure. Ranjo would have would have found that, and he would have cleaned that part up and uh, shaped it out a lot more. Let's see that. And that's it. So I'm going to let this replay while you guys are uh, going to just watch this haircut. It's a beautiful haircut. He did a great job. He did a great oh, wow. job. And um, again, it's Cake and his Randy. Ranjo. Cake and his Ranjo. You know. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully you guys have insight and hopefully you guys have uh, better luck uh, with... The uh, oh, I just saw this right there. Hold on, I missed that right there. So, this part right here, I don't know if the other side looks like that, but looking at it right now, it looks it looks different from the other side. And I'm gonna replay it. My bad, I'm hella prolonging it right now. Same here, 14 minutes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna just let it play out <laughs> so. 
hopefully that this helped you guys out. Hopefully this helps all of you uh, barbers that compete in uh, in these barber battles. Like I, there's no reason why you shouldn't compete. It's great for meeting people. Great for networking. Great for just an experience. If you're in a if you're a barber and you cut hair, this is your job. Like you want to be able to, you know, experience all these things. Even if you don't compete, you wanna you wanna be able to. Uh, you want to be able to, to network with as many people as you can because uh, yeah. you never know who you're going, going to meet at these barber battles. Um, did I miss anything? Um, I think one question I have if I was a viewer is, are we able to clean up the client after the time is done? So when, when the clock strikes zero, I don't care about cleaning up, but if you have a tool, meaning like, a razor or if you have like if you guys are still using a razor I'm gonna walk straight up to you and tell you to stop yeah right but cleaning up with the uh, with the powder and like the aftershave or not the aftershave but the oil sheen and everything like that I'm not gonna sweat that at all because that's what how it's gonna be at the shop so no like I, okay. I, I'm not gonna dock you guys on that at all um, yeah do you have any other questions this would be great uh, man um, like the times that you've lost, right? Yeah. Like, and what, what do you feel like? How do you wh like, like, do I have any questions for anything yeah. as a competitor? Shoot, yeah. man. Uh, does their outfit matter? So yeah, that's, that's a good question. So the overall look, like I'm looking at the overall, I'm that kind of guy that's going to look, or I'm that kind of barber that's going to look at, um, the outfit, like the shoes that he's wearing, the clothes that he's wearing. And also, I'm looking at the barber as well. Like, I'm, I'm looking at, like, if the barber is wearing sweats and, like, a t-shirt, like, I don't believe in people, <laughs> I don't believe in people wearing sweats, like, to, to go to work. So, why would you wear sweats? That's me. <laughs> I, I work with Roger and he does, he does, day, <laughs> he does work with sweats. So, um, I mean, again, like, dude, like, for me being a judge... I'm going to judge all that. I'm probably not so much him, but I'm going to judge your, your model and I'm going to see like everything. Um, another tip that I can give you guys is that to not use, not, not use kids. Don't use kids because one, kids are, are hard to cut. Two, kids don't stay still. Three, I don't like, I just feel like a, a, an adult needs to be getting a haircut um, and then it's kind of not their environment either. Yeah, it's not their environment. Best, yeah, you know? exactly. So you want to you want to be you want to give yourself like uh, a little bit of uh, leverage. Um, let's see. I, as I'm looking at this haircut, dude, like the more that I look at it and I'm scoping out the head and everything like that, like I I would probably he he for sure win the battle. But there's gonna be some competitions to where oh, yeah. you're gonna compete it gets, against it gets harder for sure yeah for sure so again y'all i hope you guys enjoy the video hopefully we can do more of these things Hell yeah for sure um and hopefully that helped you guys out so peace love and hair grease eee. hey i made eee. it on cake in the dreadies channel baby <laughs> we out here <laughs> all right y'all late